everybody, this is Ice, and welcome back to another video. Now, today, as you just saw in that demonstration, I have another little concept for you that can basically allow the common debuff of run around to shake it off to be implemented into vanilla Minecraft, like everything else, ever. But yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at today, and the redstone at first looks a bit complicated. With all the ongoing clocks, you'll probably like, what the heck, this is too complex for me. But in fact, there's some really cool concepts at the heart of this, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, the first step to this puzzle is this little movement detector here. Now, this is a hugely important piece of our contraption, and it uses working off of a stat objective. If we take a look at this command, we will see score walk min equals 1, and it will set, consistently set this to 0. Now, walk is set to the objective stat.walk1cm. And basically, that objective will detect how much you've walked since the objective was created. Now, this command block will be testing for anybody who's walked one centimeter, and then set it back to zero. So as long as you're walking, this comparator's output will be on. I'll just demonstrate that real quick, and get rid of the powering system. And as you can see, when I walk around, the comparator here turns on, and when I stop moving, the comparator turns off. That's a pretty simple concept that you can recreate all the time. Now the next step is this repeater matrix here. Now basically what this is, is it will detect a long pulse. Now what this means is that you have to be walking for a certain amount of time before this torch here will turn on. When you start walking, this wire will turn off, but it will be still powered by all of these repeater chains. Now, once this last repeater chain has turned off, then it's ready, and this, all these wires will turn off, allowing this torch to turn on. Until that happens, though, if you stop walking, then power will be sent back into these first few wires, disabling the torch for good. Hopefully that concept isn't too complex. You can find tons of videos about it, it's fairly well known. But now what happens is it go this torch leads into these three command blocks. Now this is the torch that signifies that you've been walking around for a certain amount of time, and basically it tells the system, oh, you can now be cured of the debuff. Now in here, it will basically just take all of the effects off you and set your score of temp to zero. Now temp is an objective that represents the disease, and if we come over here, that's what this clock is for. Basically, these two command blocks will constantly give players, with a score of temp, two status effects, which of course are slowness and an instant and a clocked instant damage effect. Now, this will just give the effect of having a kind of disease or pest that you have to shake off, which is pretty cool. Now, the final step is just a little bit of random trickery. What happens is, is when it detects that your score of temp is one which was actually done by a few pressure plates in the showcase area, when it detects that that score is equal to 1, it will come out and say that you have been cursed by an evil spirit and that you have to run to get it off. And that's basically the entire system. With all this complex redstone, that's really all it is. Now, if you wanted to make the player have to lock, walk for longer than this, you'd simply extend this wire and make another longer repeater chain. Like... So, and that's all you have to do. Now you'll just need to walk for a little bit longer. Now, obviously, that's going to be kind of big, so you have to find a nice place to slot it into in your map. But that's about it for today. If you enjoyed the showcase and the, and the explanation video, then please do leave a like. And if you really liked it, then be sure to subscribe if that's your thing. That'd be a great thing to do. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, well, bye now.